Hi everyone, I hope you're well. It's Anastasia here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am on a road trip. I'm in Dubai and I'm doing some styling at other stores. So uh, keep watching. I wanna I picked some key items, some really cute items that I think would take you for the next three seasons at least. And they I picked things that are really really nice quality. So I'll be showing you close-ups of the items itself, the fit and just outfit suggestions and we'll go through sections. I'm gonna try to structure it this way. So first I'm gonna cover denims and tops, uh, then outerwear and I'll be adding accessories as well. Really cool outerwear pieces so please watch until the end and please help me grow by like uh, this video now and subscribing. I was driving uh, in another outfit and I changed and I did my makeup when I just arrived uh, so I'm just wearing basic like white uh, bodysuit this is by Jill Sander for Vine it's a Porte uh, the Zara pinstripe blazer I went for navy because I wanted I didn't want to wear black but black doesn't work so much for the Middle East and I have really cute jeans that are probably my favorite work jeans these are Arket size 25 so Arket other stories H&M because you probably know they are the same company so they share some of the suppliers and factories that make things so so that's why I like to explore what they do in each category. Uh, definitely there's a lot of things in the other stories that are not my vibe anymore. I remember when they just were out, it was like back in the day, um, I felt like more inclination to those things. But they still cater to a lot of like things that I think like a, like a luxury shopper, more sophisticated shopper would like to see. Like look at these. I showed you some previously uh, in, in my Zara stories or something similar so I think that would be it and I'm also gonna be doing Arcade haul but they didn't send me the cashmere jumper so I'm gonna try this one anyway um yeah so let's give it a start I am one for, uh, uh, sorry <laughs> I am five seven so 168 centimeters or so so not super tall uh, I usually go for the trousers and jeans that are not super long I find that that it elongates uh, my legs when you cut it in a right place yeah otherwise you could also if you're not super tall you could wear full length but I just don't like to wear you know heels all the time but now you can wear a chunky loafer or a chunky sole a sneaker to have the same effect but I I've seen recently that it's kind of going out of the trend the thick soles they always do that they come and go so go for that if that works for you so I found just recently I was browsing a shop that they are doing the length 28 so 28 would be good for the petite girl Girls and for those who want a bit shorter length, I think I could do 30 as well. Uh, so I wanted to try this. Uh, some jeans they have in a permanent collection and some are seasonal. They come and go. These are high waist cropped stretch. I think they are part of the permanent collection. It's just like the washes, they change season by season. The other like a really cool one is a favorite. It's really similar to the one I have. I think I didn't have they didn't have the sizes, so I'm just gonna try the seasonal denim for you today I had another video like extensive video that I made on the jeans and I'll try to leave you a link here so you can see like all kinds of like their classic jeans cuts and I'll try to do that one again so um, this one I think I'm gonna try with this really gorgeous uh, jumper such a nice color they know colors and you usually go to the section that looks most appealing to you and uh, things are put together so this is extra small such a nice you know like not super long not super thick a rib knit but not super rib knit I think it should be like cashmere okay the cashmere light oatmeal the cut is classic as you can see maybe they have some others but that's just what they uh, had here in the store and I also wanted to show you the uh, classic ballerina flats are really coming back Miu Miu also brought back their signature ballerina like loads of brands it's super soft I went up in a size because I'm in between sizes of 
3 and 4, 37 to 38. So I decided to go for, uh, I mean in the UK sizes that would be 4 and 5. Really cute, like really good soft leather with the gathering on the sides. I think I'll add this one to my wardrobe actually and I like it like it matters that the cut out on the toe is like sexy and you have this like definition of the leg this makes it really nice bombers they also really strongly are coming back I think they probably made a few colors like one black and one like off white such a nice nice color so I'm trying it in a size uh, extra small and it's just right and I'm adding a soft toad for just like everyday use this outfit would be also good with any kind of boots that you have uh, I am wearing the ballerinas here but it would probably be for more colder weather so I would add like a sneaker but this would be outfit one so you'll find items linked directly under this first outfit and the second pair of jeans that I'm trying is also a high-rise comfort stretch really comfy like for work jeans I think I would go for something like this because you need to make sure that when you sit looks right and when you just stand up as well uh, looks nice and professional so kind of easy also cropped also 28 and uh, but you can see it's much longer like really dense dark blue I wanted to show you with one of these jumpers they are absolutely gorgeous they give me strong like designer vibes I don't want to say Kate because they always change their um, you know cuts the cut is more boxy definitely very classy so uh, if you're blonde and if you have green eyes you should go for the green I'm gonna try the black the navy and cream one here's how it sits also size uh, extra small as you can see uh, quite fitted but not super fitted quite boxy it's more of whitish it's quite light on the camera I also like when I saw this bag it's I think it's so cute it gives me major like designer vibes so cute such a good size for the everyday bag and it's not super white as well more like a cream or the white hardware and I'm trying on the uh, flats that are also like white let me show you the color it's about the same shade as the bag but a different texture they come a bit small so I asked uh, for a size 38 very classic uh, sling bag now the same outfit uh, but with the trench coat I really love the shade of this trench coat and they do have a few shades for when you struggle to find that right size they also had it in a light green this is I think really good for the blondes or for those who look in a lighter shade because you can go a bit wrong with the neutral but the cut is really cute uh it's just cotton it's not really gonna be rainproof but i think for dry you know sundays or saturday for to go for a you know farmer's market and bring your favorite toad it could be non-leather such a great piece it might seem a bit boring as an outfit for you but if you add some layered necklaces even some colored necklaces i think think it could be fun and another item that I think is gonna be so fun for the season look at this the caps are really cute or also saving you from the bad hair day or like second third day hair and non-branded so you know like non-sporty uh, that's that can go with the you know with the outfit when you're not wearing sportswear I didn't have anything like that yet for my complexion I think I would go I need a bit more complex shade but th even this it works really well in my opinion um, I'll try to check if they also made it like in a darker or you know maybe green maybe you know like soft red that would work I think it's really cool and next outfit would be some more knitwear basics cardigan skinny t-shirt something that is also coming back together with the flats and bombers and the, these jeans are favorite cut this is their signature cut so I think it is really really worth trying the size is 25-30 length 
Okay, so here is the favorite cut, the signature cut, one of the ones that I really like. They come in a kind of few different materials, cuts, colors. I mean, the cut could be classic. This is classic, long leg, slim leg, and there is a cropped one. I think last time the favorite cropped was my favorite. I like this one because it gives me that comfort stretch that I don't get in my slim arcade jeans. Those jeans are 100% cotton. These have a lot more elastin so if I would be going for jeans to wear more casually for you know work days non-dressy jeans I would go for something like that because I use those like jeans when I want to feel you know uh, all dressed up for styling because they look amazing but I'm not gonna be comfortable in them wearing them all day yeah so definitely go check out this cut this looks kind of similar to the some of the jeans that um, do at Kate so I think that would be the vibe for this outfit so um, let's do first the cardigan cardigan I did try the Kate cardigan that is everybody's raving about it's a few seasons in uh, I like this one because it's more lightweight so I couldn't wear really cashmere in where I live so this would be a good option it also comes in a dark color I've seen the dark color like navy and here I will add a bag also wanted to show you this bag this is black this looks to me a lot like that the row bag is a lot of celebrities are wearing these days but it is a bigger size uh, Mango had a really deep copy of that the row bag but when I ordered it it just it wasn't like giving me anything I thought I didn't really like it this one is a bit lot more structured their bags are a bit more pricey but I know that they wear really well I uh, me and my sister we gave one to uh, our mom some time ago and she loved it so that's that's my outfit number three also bear in mind their lighting makes everything looks amazing so I get a lot of compliments that I look young it's just I guess the lighting here I just wanted to check if that would go with my kind of work outfit and um, I find it a little bit like too bottom heavy here because when you have the blazer I feel like the skinny or you know flared trouser that has a high waist or you know the cropped jeans that are like the one I was wearing works better for it if I get a bit shorter on the top I could definitely wear uh, the, these jeans so if I would wear a cardigan or if I get another blazer that is a bit different that might work okay now it's a skinny t-shirt time and um, it's so cute I think the color is just so right I think they have you know like the office of stylists who decide what color to make and there should be one for almost like every color type thing that's really flattering although I didn't wear t-shirts like that for a long time I had a feeling that I wanted to pair it with more like French style jeans so I'm gonna try to find those but I just wanted to show you how nice it, it just like highlights like the jewelry that you have I really love this look so layered necklaces small jewelry I'm really glad I did my choices here and uh, now I want to show you with this blazer this blazer is you know more like linen-y uh, so it has like some texture and the color is a bit deeper so I think it's good for cross seasonal some of the blazers are really really summery and this one should be, and I really like this bra as well so it has a recycled silk it says interesting so the light tan blazer linen cut much better color than the one I had in my H&M I just like I felt like when I was buying that blazer like something is wrong with it but I'm not really sure and I checked with my stylist I also have a stylist who you know sometimes I ask for advice to her. it looks right but it definitely did not and the labels were not in the right place so this is much much more cute and this bag is like structured but at the same time soft some of the bags these days are like really really uh, stiff 
this holds the shape this reminds me a bit of the the row half moon bag and i'm wearing that the same flat really really soft really really cute i think i'm gonna really go for them because they're just really nice like slippers like at home you know slippers uh so the french style seasonal denim that would go with an outfit like this uh, we have pockets on the sides it's for those who want a bit more volume and the hips they're not super closely placed which i like uh on the back they also did size i could go even bigger for the pockets uh, the length is not super long that is what it is with the with the cream bag and i really wanted to show you this jacket really really loved it it's like a safari jacket so safari jackets have become fashionable for aristocrats like a really long time ago when people started going to africa doing like hunting and they slowly like, integrated into fashion uh, also because like girls and especially french women they uh, were borrowing a lot of things from the you know like from the men the army jackets i do love a good safari jacket i have a few actually in my wardrobe Temp like they also come and go in and out of fashion or the french name for the safari jacket is the saharian harian jacket so that's what the one that you wear in a sahara desert these ones have definitely like really big uh, pockets here oversized kind of oversized look really nice fabric really nice definition but a bit like off the on a bigger scale so like a cool fashionable in trend look i wanted to style it with this toe but you actually would need something that is you know bigger with more volume i guess so the jacket adjusts at the waist to create that femi feminine look it's not like super straight although yeah it's quite chunky i really like the texture and the way i think it highlights the face for some people if you have some angularity in your face and your features this works really good like with these triangles for me i know that it works really well so that's why i picked it and i'm adding also some structure here and some definition with the bag i decided to go with the black and a black pair of shoes i'll try to show you the back side as well such a cute jacket uh, when I travel, I think I'll get this one for when I, I'll go for uh, my trips. How cute this green bra is. I can't <laughs> tell you how happy I am to find that color because nobody, like no brand really does something in this color. So cute. My next outfit is here, a navy marina top that is just 30 percent wool and it has 70 percent lyocell so it's not super warm but i think wool would make it more long lasting and the trouser is you know it's like a trench coat material but it is a trouser really cute item i think it's for those especially if you want to wear something to work that looks structured but also kind of you know relaxed it has this feature that makes a trouser really you know like special and gives it you know seriousness you know a little bit even of masculinity especially like for example if you want to wear a heavy knit heavyweight t-shirt to work some blazer and i think yes you can go for the trouser like this it's not super fitted at the waist as well uh, so for ease the movement and also loving this bag for this outfit and the same uh, ballerina flats another pair of trousers here for this time more feminine our color is creamy has like a nice texture that makes it look really uh, premium quality should wear really well like expensive feel and um, has some pockets also on the back good work appropriate feminine has a crop flag not super long easy to style for like when you want to do two blocks 
whether black, navy or another color. Now a feminine outfit with the same pair of trousers, which is kind of good. It's like a blank trouser that would actually go with pretty much and not anything but with a lot of things. So I feel like the trousers that I have bought last time at also the other stories they like super summery and i can wear them but not with just anything so something like this is definitely more versatile or with the same uh, creamy sling back this the jumper i liked it the color it is less bright in the um, in the real life it's more like soft blue a uh, light bag white bag or something the color that can go with everything is so essential i think i'm gonna need to add a white bag i recently bought a mini white bag for going out but for also for you know non-evening occasion that would be good that's the cardigan really quite like it quite cute not like super fitted not oversized good length i just wanted to add i think <laughs> this is like a super like uh wifey look you know well i think like wifey dressing is when you don't want to be like a man you want to be more feminine but you're not super young you can't wear floral dresses or like cute tops so this is like a wifey dressing yeah <laughs> how do you like it now we're gonna do two shirts and one more trouser and one more jeans that's it I think I buy a shirt from the other stores almost every season and uh, this shirt is I really like the color like it's not easy to uh, find a nice combination of color and you know the print on the shirts I've tried a little bit of them last week actually at Miu Miu and they were definitely you know too strong you need to look at your face and see which you know print doesn't bring that attention away from your face like a blink test so if that uh, the color of the stripe on this shirt and this shirt would be a bit more like dark and deep and bigger that would not work so i like how this is and it should work pretty much for like most of the complexions maybe if you're not super pale maybe it would be a little bit dark for you but i like it um so it is a, a kind of a classic fill but not super oversized because some of the brands they just go too crazy oversized and i'm gonna try to tuck it in and accessorize it now here how it is looking tucked in i'm adding the creamy bag so good for the spring summer day Yes, yeah, such a nice shirt. Should go for it. Uh, also, really similar to the Totimi cut. I think this season I'm gonna decide to go for the premium shirt. Finally, but my kids are much older now and less messy. But I still like to have like two and one that is like medium range. Some of the really cheaper brands, they do tend to look at shape really quickly. I could do a belt here, but um, you know, sometimes on purpose I don't do belts because I like when the garments are two separate garments and the combination of them is beautiful. So this gives me enough structure on a regular basis without even any belt and the accent would be added with the shoes, with the jewelry, with, uh, you know, something like a bag, something like this. This is my next outfit. I'm trying this white oversized shirt and uh, I think it's one of the best uh, quality shirts that I've seen on the high street. So yeah, other stories might be a bit more than more Zara's or Mango, but definitely uh, better. It feels like a proper shirt fabric like the guys wear because some of the women's brands it could be a bit too feminine and um, I am styling it with the tan trousers for the spring summer outfit for work for this instance I don't get enough definition in this waistline and they both are a bit baggy so I'm gonna use a belt to um, give it a nice finish 
Okay, so uh, this is how it looks with the belt. It's really surprising. I thought this trouser would, was a bit more like a cool uh, parachute trouser, but I can do it more smart way. And I'm adding this back with this thin strap. Maybe I'll actually go for these trousers because um, I don't get to wear enough of my Bottega belt, I think, for even like a smaller sized belt that would be a good, good match. And uh, the fabric is really lightweight, so it would be a spring, summer, definitely piece. I think it's essential to show you the back line, really neat back line with a good nice pockets. Final item here is the another denim. It's really nice. I think it was somewhere in the front. So it says it's is slim and it's straight and stretchy. Such a nice shape. Uh, the color is really quite deep blue. I'll try to catch it in a good light without any, you know. Two seasons ago, I, when I did an extensive haul on denim, everything was having like highlighted areas. Uh, this season, a major change, everything is should be even <laughs> in the color. Some of the vintage kind of style, they're more washed, so everything is kind of dark. Nice, really nice fit, fits like a glove almost up to the rib cage i'm just checking the length ah uh, okay the length is 30 so uh, full length maybe they also have a 30 uh, 28 if you wanted it shorter for this length our uh, length i would style it with a boot with something of open toe or little cut out but i would prefer it non-blacks because if it's gonna be black it will just look the same this is how i think i would see it to finish this off i'm adding this bomber blaze i think it's one of my favorite items in this whole uh, cap and a uh, rounded structured leather bag i hope you loved this haul uh please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my next videos i'll try to link everything if you didn't find anything or you wanted to ask a topic for the next video please leave a comment below and i'm gonna see you in my next one